Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Steak Insanity. It's day 69 of my carnivore diet. And today I want to talk about something that I realized this morning that I hadn't even realized until now. So we'll get to that in just a second. Otherwise, um, macros for today, basically, um, it's Saturday and my wife wasn't feeling very well. So I stayed home to spend some time with her just to make sure that she was okay. I did go out briefly just to the store and came back. So I got a few thousand steps in, but pretty strict. Well, actually very strict on the diet today. So it was pretty good, happy with that. And yeah, so that was all good. Sort of 20 grams of carbs, um, 106 of fat and 118 of protein. So not bad, um, not too many calories, but then I didn't do anything all day. So didn't need many, to be honest. I did want to go to the gym, but she really wanted to have some company. So I stayed home. I'll go tomorrow. What I realized, though, this morning is that I've actually scaled back. I used to take ibuprofen every morning because my joints, the arthritis and everything and all the pain that I had. And I actually stopped taking it two weeks ago. And I hadn't, I just hadn't thought to mention it because for some reason, I, every time I've stopped in the past, I would go a couple of days and then everything would start to hurt again. Like it's so bad in the morning. Like once I'm kind of up, if I just have a little bit to eat, and I used to have something like a croissant or a, a piece of toast or something like that with my coffee in the morning. And then I would take my multivitamin and some ibuprofen and I'd take some aspirin and some other stuff and some vitamin D. And But I was taking like five pills every morning. And I just I hadn't really thought about it because, like I said, every time I'd started it in the past, I ended up going back to it after a couple of days because I would be so sore in the mornings. But I just stopped a couple of weeks ago because I thought, well, why am I taking this? I wasn't going to the gym, so I wasn't sore from workouts or anything. And I just thought, well, I don't really need to take this anymore. And I completely forgot about it. And it was only this morning when I, I just looked at my hand and I was like, wow, I haven't taken ibuprofen in ages and I don't need it. And I'd also cut back on on my vitamin D because in my last blood work, it was a little bit high. It was still in the green area, but a little bit high. So I just cut back from taking two, um, two of those to one. So I still take a multivitamin. I still take a little bit of aspirin, sort of 75 milligrams of aspirin every day just for heart health. But I suspect that I can probably cut back on that as well. So I may see how I feel. Um, I took it, I'm sort of self-medicating with the aspirin, which I know you're not supposed to do, but whatever. Um, everybody that I know that's ever, you know, been to a heart doctor or a cardiologist about anything, they always, you know, tell them that they should take it. So I'm just taking that as I had some advice and I take it anywhere anyway, sort of as a preventative, but I think I'm going to stop taking that and see how I feel and if it makes any difference, <clears throat> which will mean that I've gone from taking five pills in the morning to only taking two pills. And one of those is a multivitamin and one of those is a vitamin D. And I will continue to take those because um, because I do feel better when I take them in general. Um, and I definitely want to keep my vitamin D levels high because vitamin D is well, it's pretty much been shown as far as I can tell as a good defense against COVID. So I've had COVID a couple of times, so it hasn't stopped it um, for sure. But I do feel like it's made my, the times that I have had COVID maybe better. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I feel more comfortable taking it and it's fine. I don't think it's doing anything. So, so yeah, so that's actually been amazing. So the diet definitely is working because I don't have any of that pain that I had before. And I don't even have the ibuprofen helping. So yeah, that was a positive. And I hadn't, 
I hadn't even really thought about that until this morning. So that was the thing I wanted to talk about today. And we'll see how I feel tomorrow. But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get to the... I want to get up early in the morning and get to the gym. Um, the other thing that's been going on is is for the past sort of couple of nights, I've, I've not even had six hours of sleep. And I mentioned last night that I've been taking naps and stuff like that. So today I haven't had any naps, which is good. And the plan is, is that I'm going to go to bed. I mean, it's already a 10 to midnight here now. And um, but as soon as I get this edited and get it posted, then I'm going to go straight to bed and I'm going to try and sleep in in the morning a little bit. But I, once I get up, I'm going to get up and start my day and do the gym and all that stuff. So there we go. I noticed in the comments, a couple of people did ask, uh, did respond and say that they wanted to, you know, learn a little bit more or OK to hear a little bit more about what I do fitness wise and in the gym. So I might do a little bit on my goals and how I set up my my goals when I started running and how I do that for myself. And so we, we can talk about that tomorrow. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to start to use the community tab a little bit more. And I do have a couple of polls that and some questions that I'd like to ask the people who subscribe to the channel, um, if anybody will give me some feedback on that. So I might over the next few days put a couple of polls in as well, just to get some feedback from you guys on what you want to see and what you want to hear. And we'll see what happens there. But I can also post some more static content, like comments and images and things like that. So I'm going to try to use that section a little bit more as well, and we'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, that's it for tonight, and I hope everybody has a good one, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.